December 16th, 2022. How's it going, guys? I've got another video for you. And uh, we're going to talk about adult dating today. And it just amazes me, all the stuff I see out there and the things they do. And it just, uh, you know, when it comes to dating, what... The way I look at it, what does that person basically bring to the table? What do they have to contribute? Now, I'm not looking for anybody that's got any money. I'm looking for somebody that is physically fit, though, and healthy. Like I say, I'm looking for somebody about 10 years younger. Because the ones my age don't even, not even in the ballpark here in Kansas City. Maybe this was out west, it's out in California. That'd be another story. But we're not out in California now, are we? And the thing of it is, too, even the ones that are 45 here in Kansas City or under, lots of them are, are not physically fit. I mean, I, I did a, I don't know if some of you guys know, I did a video one, just a few days back. It was talking about when I was up last time up at Ameristar. There was ladies from about maybe 30 to 45 years of age. That a lot of them were up there with the guys, and a lot of them were limping. They, as you, as they walked, their stride—you could actually see them limp. You know, I was thinking, how can they be in that bad of shape already? How can they? I mean, I don't know. I, a lot of jobs I've had here in Kansas City over the years, I've had to do very hard jobs, and not all of them were good. Most of them weren't, <laughs> but they were physical jobs. And I mean, I still get around fairly good. I still move in the, in these. I just, I, it just amazes me. I look at some of them and they're, they're so out of shape that, I mean, if a catastrophe here did happen and you had to go walk a couple hundred miles I don't think most of them would make it. I mean, I look at that too. I look, you know, I mean, either, you know, it can go both ways. You know, I, I look at bone structure. I look at them to see if, you know, and then the, then, the, then the other whole point of what comes into play, do they even look like they're there and half competent sometimes? I wonder. I mean, uh, some of the things that they do and stuff. But it's just amazing. But... Another thing about all this, too, I look at, I get to think about my cousin. Now, I, I don't talk much about my cousin. He was a, uh, basically, he did roofing here in Kansas City when he was here. He liked being down at Warsaw, down at the lake down there. He had a cabin down there for a while and stuff. But he would go out here in Kansas City, and he'd pick up lots of gals. But he had BS a mile long. And the thing of it is, I don't mean BS like BS in the gals in the sense of, you know, they're, you know, talking to them, saying they were pretty and this and all that. He was always talking about making a million dollars. And you wouldn't believe how many people buy into that BS. And lots of people do. Now, he actually, I'll tell you a story here. I'm going to tell you, this is a true story. He found a gal here that actually was up here. I guess she was vacationing or whatever up here. And he actually married her. He went down to Florida. She was down in Florida. Now, she had money. But, uh, and then, of course, later on, I mean, I guess it's okay, but he's not here with us anymore either. He's, he died. But uh, the thing of it is, I mean, I can only be around my cousin there so long at a time because he always had this get rich scheme. He always had this, and he would bring gals home left, and he would bring gals home right. But what got to me about this was he never had, he had some money. Oh, he, he come in spurts, but he borrowed, he owed everybody. He owed everybody. They didn't seem to care. Some cared, but 
I know when I was tracking down one time down at Warsaw, I was looking for him. Said, if you see him, he owes me some money. It's like, okay. <laughs> but what amazed me is the women would buy into this. And that's what we're, what we're talking about dating. We're talking about dating women. They buy into that BS. And uh, it just, uh, I, I just couldn't get over it. Now, sometimes he made some money. He would go, he worked for RJR Roofing. And uh, sometimes, I mean, he had, you know, I mean, they paid in lump sums. But, I mean, he lived here at the house here with my mother. Actually, my mother that passed away, that basically, she took care of her sister's two boys, helped raise them here somewhat. And uh, my mo mother helped raise a lot of people here over the years and stuff, which was interesting, too. But the thing of it is, it was just, it, it got to me because I, I was just thinking, how, if you just lie, women love that. They like that. But if you tell the truth, they don't like that. That's no fun. But see, that's the thing here. I look at these deals. I look I look here on the, the internet and it's some of the stuff and I read some of these things. And these women, it's like, you know, they're looking for guys making, you know, 80,000, 60,000, 100,000. Well, there was another lady that did a video on this stuff. And there's, I think, even guys that have been around a while, I mean, even if they make you know, a half a million dollars a year, that's only in the one to two percentile. But then, you know, the way I look at this as, I think you have to go into this in a relationship where you have to be partners. And see, I'm a firm believer it should be a 50-50 deal. That's why I look at it. If it's not a 50-50 deal, then I don't know. I mean, I think there has to be a bad, I mean, you can't, not everybody can, you know, have 50% here. But I mean, you got, sometimes somebody might have to give 75% and the other back. But if it balances and, and they get it along, then you're okay on all that. But, you know, compatibility. I know I, I hear these women say, well, compatibility in a way, that sense don't matter. They, they're just worried about the money. And, or they say stability. How can you have stability if you don't communicate with that person? If you can't communicate with that person? I, you know, and then you got, you get some in there too. And we'll talk about just the uh, sex here a little bit here too. I, I just love the ones that say, well, I'm not looking for no booty call or anything like that. Well, you know, let's, let's talk about this for a second now. If you go out with a lady... I would say up to three times and you don't get to kiss or you don't get to do anything like that, then I would say it's probably not a good deal. But in a relationship, the way they talk, getting in that heavy, you know, if I go look at a car, I want to take it and drive it at least around the block and see if it's going to run good. We'll see if it's running on all cylinders or, or if it's misfiring. And I tell you one thing about ladies, too. I think that's a good idea, too, especially in this day and age. But I, I look at this stuff here, and I just think, oh, my, you know. But then I get to think, you know, in my personal opinion on some of this, I get to think, what would they have to bring? I mean, I do most everything myself here. I own my own house. Me and my son, we live here together now. We have a pretty good time and stuff. And uh, I get to think about all this. I mean, I get up early in the morning, cook us both breakfast. Me and him, we do equal amounts of the laundry. I mean, what would a, unless, you know, a per, having another personality here, having somebody maybe to, to, to dance, to go do things with like that, maybe occasionally have sex with but you know I get to wonder 
And then I, you know, I get to think about some things from way back when I was going through my divorce too at some of these places and stuff. And I get to wonder if these women can actually even know what a good sex life or anything really is, in a sense. Because I think about how they dull, I mean, there's so many things involved here, guys, and it's really hard to talk about. You know, you get to think a lot of them, I mean, are doing their weed and stuff, which slows the response time down. I mean, you ain't gonna, you know, to me, when you go to have sex, you don't really, I mean, some people may have a beer or something or two or something, but you don't want to be completely desensitized. I mean, you don't get that good feeling unless you're not having a good relationship anyway. And I think that's something right there, too. I mean, so many of them, I mean, I just don't think. But getting back to what I was going to say, when I was down at, I was just going, waiting to go through my divorce, and I was down at Doc Holliday's, talking to this one gal. And I don't know how I got brought up one night. She was talking to somebody else, and she said something about uh, how long sex should be. And she turned to me and she asked me, how long do you think? <laughs> I'm probably not a good one to ask that because, see, I, I think, you, you know, I think it's not about going and spending a $300 meal. But I think of it more like, oh, I said, oh, probably... You know, because when she was talking about the in, intercourse itself stuff, I said, oh, probably about 45 minutes. But I said, up to maybe two hours, you know, messing around, kissing, and doing different things like that and stuff. I was like, oh, my God. That's that's just way too long. I mean, just about 15 minutes. And I'm thinking, uh, okay. Now, you got to remember way back, I told you I went out with this one lady that uh, when I was back up at Raytown North, that this lady was at Raytown South, and... Uh, she was very versed in everything, but we used to go make love for hours on here. And we had a good time with it. Builds a good relationship and stuff like that. But at that time period, we why we didn't really get together, it was, we were just too young. It was, I mean, sometimes you are just too young at that time period and stuff. But, uh, I get to think about all that, and I get to think, you know, horror of looking at some of this stuff. Then you got some of these gals out here, they're missing half their teeth, you know. Now, I do have a couple of teeth missing, and I, I got to have some more dental work done, but I, I'm still going. And uh, I just, I, I look at some of this stuff, I, I, I just, it's like, Okay, that don't look good. And then you get the ones that put themselves out there and they try to put themselves out there and it looks so phony. You know, I, uh, oh God, that just drives me nuts in that sense because I, uh, I can't, I can't handle that stuff. Because it's like, if they can't, this one lady I went with, like I said, she's not, this isn't the gal that I married. This is, this is a gal I went with for about a year and a half when I was in high school. And, uh, I mean, we, we got along good together, everything. I mean, we, we never had no fights, never no problems, never no nothing. And uh, everything went good, pretty much, for about a year and a half. But uh, I don't know. I, I look at all this and I see all this stuff and I just think it's just amazing, amazing. And then I look at the ones, like I said, I don't know if you guys heard me, if, you, if you're new to my channel, but I get to think about some of the, like when I'm up at Maristar, well, you'll see like six guys with two gals, or like I said, five, guy, five guys with one gal, or four guys with one gal, or, or three guys with one gal. It's like, that's weird. It's just strange. I guess I guess uh, she's getting a good variety. <laughs> but I don't know. And then, I mean, you know, like I say, I'm looking for somebody that's positive. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, I'm positive. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And I, 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 I mean, it's just like... Uh, 
I see, I, I, I said, oh God, this is, there was this one lady that got up and danced over by me and it was like, she can't dance. And it was like, oh my God. And it was like, I'm not like the one, you know, like I said, the one Japanese gal that was at Walter's, a, you're a quarter step off. I'm not dancing for competition here, but I sure don't want, you know, somebody who can't do anything either. I mean, you know, I think that's the thing about all this. You gotta, you gotta have that Heinz mix. You gotta have something in between. Oh my God. But I look at all this and I just get to think about this. And then I see, I see it like over in this neighborhood where I live at, there's couples living with couples. They're from, you know, I can understand if they're right out the gate, but if they're 30, 35 years old, they got a couple kids and there's three or four couples living in one house over here. They've had a lot of time, guys. And I mean, that was even before all this, you know, before the sickness and everything else. And, but, and these are the ones also smoking the weed. I can tell you a funny story real quick, which don't pertain to dating, but I went into one of the filling stations and had to pay some gas. It wasn't today, so I had to get gas today, so I don't want them to think it's them. So I go into this one filling station. And, the, and these two guys, they're really wasted on the weed. You can smell it in the in the whole convenience store real heavy. And anyway, I gave them, I had some ones. A whole bunch of ones. No, I hadn't been to the strip joint, but there was a whole bunch of ones I had in my pocket. And uh, anyway, I said, here's, here's $10. I said, go ahead, yeah, you can count it. And they go, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I thought, oh my God. It reminded me of some funny movies about these ones that do the weed and stuff. There's a deal on a, oh, what is it? Is it you, no, Tubi. And it's called, uh, they're called bong movies. And they're funny. It's where all of them are always smoking their weed and stuff and stuff. But it kind of reminded me of that. And I was thinking, hmm, you can say, yeah, I just gave you that hundred. Did I get change back for that? Okay. Oh, I can't do that. There's cameras everywhere today, guys. So. <laughs> I thought it was funny. But I was thinking, oh my God. You know, funny stuff. But it just makes you wonder, you know, on all this stuff. It's just, it's crazy. But, you know, when guys tell the truth and, it, and people don't listen, it's not a good thing. But, you know, maybe, it, I mean, I think it's just like, you know, like Teal Swan. So they, a lot of ladies don't want that. They want those guys to go out and mess around. They want those guys to lie. You know, they don't care. They, you know, and then if they're just wanting the money, then, you know, that's the thing too. Now, on the other end of it, vice versa. Way back when I, after I went through my divorce and stuff, I was offered some things from some other gals. Basically, this one gal, she, she told me she had 50 extra thousand dollars to, I, to, to actually have fun with, no problem. If I if basically if I'd be her friend and more, but no, no, it's not about that. It's just about finding somebody that's halfway with it, and to make it through, to be able to make it through something too. I mean that that's the thing here, but uh, interesting things. I bet a lot of guys over here at these houses. I bet they'd jump at that though. Actually, uh, I think that one lady's still out there, guys. And she's not obese either. She's skinny. So, uh, there you go, guys. But the thing of this all is, I just, I, I get to think of all the stuff they say. You know, well, it's about this or it's about that. 
and they lie about this and they lie about that. And it, it, it's just insane. It's insane. You know, I guess you have to, I don't know, my, my idea is something maybe halfway the girl, not, not the girl next door down, but the girl next door 30 years ago. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But somebody is physically fit. That one lady that I told you I went out with in Raytown South, she played softball. She played flag football. She was, you know, she was, she was a big gal, though. I think she was a, of English descent here, too. But, uh, did you know, guys, also, did you know that, that the English, the, the ladies, have a higher sex drive than any other, other women on the planet? They did a study. Look at that. You guys might find it interesting. One of these uh, colleges did a study and they found that out. But, um, and then let's talk about metaphysics. Just real quick about this. If you're not in touch with your body. Oh, I got to back, backtrack real quick. Real quick. There was another lady that I went to school with. And she talked me in going up to Indiana or whatever, way far up there. And helping her try to bring all her stuff back because she's going through a divorce. And this lady is nice in the face and stuff. Fairly halfway up. She was always fairly halfway large and stuff. But what I couldn't get over though. This is where it really gets something. Is that she tells me. And she told, told me a whole bunch of stuff about all her stuff and crazy stuff. But the thing of it was, is that she was telling me that like when she went to bed with a guy, she she had to be underneath the covers. She, she, nobody could see her. Well, she was overweight some. She wasn't totally obese or anything. She had long hair and stuff and everything, which, you know, a lot of, like she said, yeah, I'll have to compensate for what they don't have if, if it's the other and stuff. But I was thinking about this, you know, but if a person is not comfortable with their body and everything else, this energy does not flow good either. And when these ladies, these ladies say they got good energy and stuff, if they're not comfortable with sex, they sure aren't going to be able to do anything else. And I, I'm, I, I'm very serious about that. I mean, I'm sure you could ask any of the other ones that, uh, like, uh, what is it, E.E. -E Arts? Anybody does Reiki and all the other stuff, they could probably tell you about that because this is where this energy flows through and comes up through your body. If you're not, if you don't have all your chakras open, you don't have all, if you, if you haven't come to terms and cleared all that bad negative energy out and everything else, nothing going to work good, guys nothing and if you if you want to you, you, all everything's 